All right, so we're back again with another video walkthrough. Uh, this one of the Sick uh, Volume One Library. I'm Mike Peasley, and I'm Greg Stevens, and we're here to rock your world with a little bit of uh, grossastic stuff. Sick One uh, is the first in the Sick series, and uh, it'd been discontinued for a while, but uh, we brought it back. It's just a, a little uh, kind of pocket compendium of of gore sound effects, creature sounds. The vo voice of madness and 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 kind of just generally a good little collection of uh, production sounds to use and, and especially with the new additions we've made with uh, ambiences, where there are some actual musical elements, um, but also and with the effects of course and the effects yeah with the with the effects you can really start to manipulate this stuff. A lot of our users are they do double duty as both composers and sound designers or they need to do a, a quick bit of sound design for a project and often it's things like gore and uh, horror. Whether it be gore in, in the context of action, where it's a gunshot wound, you know, that you need to sound up or, uh, or anything like that. So this stuff can come in handy. And also just as interesting raw material for sonic experiments on your own. But um, we'll, we'll just kind of walk through how you would use it in contact. Because how you use the raw wave files in any other setting is totally up to you. But in contact, it's, it, we've, we've laid it out to be pretty simple and easy to play. Let's, uh, let's just dive right in. Uh, to some of the presets. <laughs> and that seems pretty tame, yeah, but but really where you can start to get some interesting effects is. <laughs> You can slap a little reverb on there. Uh, and then suddenly it's uh, a torture chamber action-packed adventure of uh, horrors and horrors. Here we go. Reverb on. Reverb on. Oh. And this particular patch has the speed on the pitch wheel. Oh, yeah. So. So you uh, roll the pitch bend f forward and you get a little, it, it basically speeds it up, tightens it down. <laughs> Using the time machine engine. Kind of harder to tell on the sh on the on the longer effects. Uh, so basically, it's just those are screams of pain. Obviously, this one is. Ouch! Get a little more headroom. Cracking skulls. And uh, you can even hear a little bit of the metal in there. The hammer breaks through. Uh, and of course, always. Uh, and then you can play around with the offset to get different elements of the sound kind of in focus. So you just get the tail when you use the offset control. And skip ahead. Brand. Good flesh sizzling sounds. And a whole variety of them. These aren't really meant, they're not really tuned. There's just a whole array of them spread out over the key range. Um. Kind of gross. 
else. Madness might play well with the zombies in Sick 2. Yeah. Kind of the sound of a crazy old madman frothing at the mouth and basically flipping the hell out. Playing around with your pitch wheel now. Process. Just a hair. Just a hair. These are just basically horrible, horrible sounds. Pure and simple. Horrible, horrible sounds. Kind of cute. <laughs> it's it's really useful for uh, quick sound design, but it's kind of you know it's as you can hear it's got a lot of things going on in it that um, can sometimes take a while to set up and you know so it's nice to have it right at your fingertips. You got the usual suspects in there. You have vegetables and voices and things like that. A good segue over to the ambiences. Yeah. And me now. Again, these include the offset, which is adjustable, which we talked about in the uh, SIG 2. Yeah. Demo. Basically, where you can flip between having absolute control over where the sample starts. <laughs> so, if you're sequencing a specific piece of design, um, then you know exactly what's going to happen. Or you can randomize it and get some kind of chaotic effects where you never really know what's going to happen. In 
it also helps with layering so that you get um, just really a, a rich tapestry without kind of a stacking effect. Suckers were uh, designed for the um, the re-release of, of Sick uh, by Chris, Mr. Marshall. Sick one. Cool little effect. Uh, as far as just being able to take it right out of the box and, and and put it to use, and of course the good blunt force and brand and choke and um, purgatory sounds, basically just good good old fashioned gore and horror and just grossness. Um, so um, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I think that's it. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.